Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics where I'll be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. First off, we have new developments in the field of gene therapy where scientists of MIT, Harvard and Yale have developed a system to turn on and off certain genes in tissues through DNA switches called CREs, cis-regulatory elements. Now this might seem like a lot to take in. But what you need to know is that genes are like instructors that produce proteins and regulate functions in our tissues and organs. So essentially what these artificial CREs developed by these scientists do is control gene expression in specific cells so that they can control when a gene produces proteins and when it doesn't. The paper explains how this is tremendous for gene therapy because it could help specifically target certain genes in certain organs to target diseases, infections and deficiencies without affecting the overall composition of the organ or of the body. The scientists tested this research on both zebrafish and mice with positive results. Our next story goes back 1500 years to the Silk Route which spanned from Asia to Europe and crossed many present-day countries in South Asia, Eastern Europe and Central Asia. But a study published on 23rd October adds a new region to the mix of the already known haunts of the Silk Routes, which is the highlands of Uzbekistan. Researchers from Washington and Brown University have discovered remains of two urban cities metropolises that are situated 7,000 feet above sea level in eastern Uzbekistan. These are almost 300-acre large sites which have deposits of ceramics, brickins and remains of a citadel, plazas, buildings and courtyards. The scientists said that the cities were part of the Silk Road routes and engaged in trade activities with the rest of Eurasia, despite that treacherous and previously thought to be uninhabitable terrain. The next story is about a recent paper in 50 Device Journal that talks about a new invention that literally can zap bacteria from your skin. Published on 24th October, the paper describes a device made by U Chicago scientist called BLAST, B-L-A-S-T, Bioelectronic Localized Antimicrobial Stimulation Therapy, which is a patch that is applied to the skin, which releases mild electricity that can inhibit disease-causing bacteria. The research relies on electricity excitability abilities of certain bacteria on the skin and tries to control them before they enter the body. The patch that's developed by the researchers only releases very mild electricity similar to what a pacemaker releases, so it's not harmful to humans wearing the patch. In the paper, the scientists also talk about how this electricity patch could be an alternative to antibiotics given the side effects that they have. For our last story today, Let's take a look at MIT scientists who have, for the first time ever, discovered a triple black hole system. The black hole V404 Cygni, according to a new paper in Nature Journal, has two stars orbiting around it at different distances. The reason this is significant is because it upends the traditional theory that black holes are found in pairs, either with one star spiraling around them because of the black hole's gravitational pull, or another black hole itself. This theory is also supported by the fact that black holes are formed when a dying star lets out a strong last burst of light and energy which disperses all matter and objects around it and then collapses on itself to form a black hole. In binary system black holes, usually there's just one star orbiting the black hole from a very close distance and sometimes it collapses and merges into the black hole due to its strong gravitational field. However, in V404 Cygni, the scientists observed that the second star orbiting it was 3,500 astronomical units away, which is quite far in celestial terms. This is interesting because not only does it call into question the origin of black hole V404 Cygni, but also how strong its gravitational pull is. According to the study, both the orbiting stars of the black hole are in exact tandem, which is a phenomenon that is observed only once in 10 million years. That's all we have for you this week. For more such news and updates, follow the print.